Um, this is a Philips cassette recorder. I think it's model N2202. And this recorder I'm modifying. Here, I have a, a simple on-off toggle switch with a 330 ohm resistor attached. Here you can see the speed control circuit of this recorder. Also, other Philips and Norelco recorders of similar styles will have or likely have this same speed control circuit. On this speed control circuit, as far as a schematic is concerned, this resistor right here is the one we're going to be paying attention to. Right here, above my finger. That resistor is located that one at the end there blue red brown a 620 ohm resistor I believe if I read the color code right and in order to get this recorder to run at half of the regular speed normally it runs at 178 in order to get it run at 15 16 IPS if we put a 330 ohm resistor in parallel with the 620 ohm resistor it will run at the half speed. I had already recorded a 1 kilohertz tone on another recorder that I know runs at the right speed. Then I put it in here and I played it and made it to be 1 kilohertz adjusting with the speed adjustment trimmer to run it at the right speed. Then I found the right parallel value resistor to put in parallel with this resistor and found it to be a 330 ohm resistor got it to run at about 500 Hertz so I know that it's in running at half speed when I do that so I'll simply have the switch will switch on and off that resistor being in parallel with that resistor to be able to make this machine a two speed unit and it's this simple to do just have the wires come where that resistor connects and with the resistor to the switch it's that easy drill a hole right smack in the middle so that the switch will rest between the two circuit boards and you got yourself a two speed recorder 300, uh, 330 ohm resistor if you got one of these recorders and you want to make it a long play recorder the half speed as well as regular speed that's all you got to do it's very simple and it definitely um, it's, it's worth it Okay, anyway, so this machine has been made so that it can have two speeds, 15 16 IPS and 1 and 7 8 IPS, 1 and 7 8 being the standard cassette speed. So anyway, right now I'm recording at the regular speed of 1 and 7 8 IPS on the Philips N2202. But now we're going to switch it to the lower speed. We're now running the recorder at 15 16 inches per second or um, 2.4 centimeters per second. This is the slower speed, which um, is now running at from the modified recorder. Simply by putting a 330 ohm resistor into the circuit, it's that simple. And um, now the machine is at the slower speed. Now let's bump it back up to the higher speed again. The higher speed, uh, one and seven eighths, or 4.8 centimeters per second. Let's see how this comes out. With this lower speed. We're now running the recorder at 15, 16 inches per second, or um, 2.4 centimeters per second. This is the slower speed. Which um, is now running at from the modified recorder. Simply by putting a 330 ohm resistor into the circuit. It's that simple. So anyway, it's, a, it's proven that it, it definitely is modified. So it is now a two-speed recorder. It's an incredibly simple modification because the the speed control circuit in the machine it was already made it easy to adjust. And of course, the original um, vent to this recorder is gone. So I put this this vent here on the speaker. It actually looks neater. The original would have been metal with a bunch of tiny holes, but here it's this kind. 
which I put a bunch of double sided tape on it and then I just pressed really hard to make it on there from the double sided tape and it's held on there and it's pretty cool looking see normally on my recorders I don't like I, I mean I don't want to modify them because I don't want to mess up the original condition but on this one it's already scratched up missing the original vent paint coming off basically it's already kind of beaten up so I thought well why it doesn't hurt to modify this one so um, I modified this one for two speeds today just eh, I think it's a great thing it didn't even take that long to do it's a simple project so anyway I recommend this project if you want to modify your Philips recorder to be two speed